This baby seal stranded on the beach is dying of starvation. Much of the ice has already melted, depriving mother seals of the resting place where they would usually spend the first two weeks with their pups. If there had been even the smallest bit of ice, the female probably would have decided to stay with him. In the Magdalen Islands, winter temperatures have been about three degrees higher than historical averages. Normally, at this time of year, the entire gulf is frozen over. This year, you can see where it's black. That's water. There's no ice. So this is really a very unusual situation. Not one of the 900 seal hunters in the Gulf of St. Lawrence plans to go out to sea this season. And the 300,000 seals who usually come here to give birth have ended up on the coast of Newfoundland. That's too far to travel for a hunt and much too expensive. So there will be no hunt and no meat and no tourists. The area stands to lose about $6 million. We just don't know what's going to happen. Personally, as a fisherman, as a hunter, I know I'm going to have to adapt. As these islanders adapt to a climate warming before their eyes, they are coming to terms with how fragile their world is. There are changes happening on these islands. We see the erosion, we see the water level rising, we see lots of things. I really hope that all of this will be over soon, because otherwise it's going to be the end of the world pretty soon. If enough of the ice that protects this archipelago melts, the coast could erode by as much as 80 meters within the next 40 years.